Alam nyo yung feeling na matatapos na yung bahay nyo, whether it's renovation or whether it's a new home, pero hindi mo alam kung tama ba ang paggagawa. Hindi mo alam if kailangan ko na babayaran ang contractor or yung mga renovators kasi tapos na yung work nila. And I understand that frustration because a lot of my friends ask me, Slater, is this right? The way they're doing it, is this right? Si Chris dati, yung office niya, hindi siya super happy because parang hindi niya alam if it were all up to standard. So I decided to make this video a beginner's guide to inspecting your home project just to cover the basics of what to look out for and what to check and how to know if things are done right or if it should be revised. Now stick around to the end of this video because I will also be giving tips para sigurado yung mga contractors nyo na pag sinabi nyo, i-revise nyo to or parang hindi to tama, siguradong gagawin talaga nila and it actually gets fixed. Before we even get started, it's important to know what and when is the best time to inspect your project. And personally, the earlier along the project it gets inspected, the earlier you make revisions to the mistakes, the cheaper it will be and the less time consuming it will be for you and your contractor. So you can move in earlier as well. So now it's time for the actual site inspection and to talk about the items that will be inspected on site. Don't worry guys, dahil mahal ko kayo, meron akong list as much as possible. I don't want to miss anything. And this will all be non-technical. This will all be very basic so everybody can do it. Plus, I will put up a downloadable checklist for you guys if you want to bring it to your site, if you want to study it, at least meron kayong kopya. So then you want to bring along with you a marker or better yet, a post-it note on site when you're walking around. So every mistake that you see, you can mark it down. Again, we'll talk about this more in depth on the later part of the video. But for now, let's focus on the items that we are going to check. And number one is all aesthetic. Anything that makes the house less beautiful than what it could be. So for example, paint splatters, you want to make sure there's no paint on the floor, there's no differences from blue na wall behind there and the white wall so hindi naka curve curve yung pagpintura or even just paint splatters on the window frame or the window itself you want to make sure wala yan next outlets na tabingi <laughs> pet peeve ko talaga because that means if the outlet is loose hindi nila ininstall ng maayos or if it's tabingi paminsan kaya naman siyang i-align na maayos agad but sometimes Yung butas ng outlet or yung mga switches, merong space before the box. And so this is something na meron kami isa. Hindi ko napansin until we turned over everything. So it's very hard to get that fixed after the fact. Kasi magpipintura pa again, meron pang batak na gagawin. So yeah, very complicated. So better check beforehand. Make sure there are no paints around the switches and the outlets mismo. Kasi paminsan, example, ito yung box ng switch mo. Paminsan, when they're painting, hindi na nila tinatanggal and then paint and then put it back in, which is ideal. Sometimes, napipinturahan yung box mismo and then you can see a discoloration or even paint around the box. And I think it's very lazy and I think that should be corrected. Next is we want to make sure that all the corners of the walls are straight, all the edges are straight. So we're not talking about just the corners, but we're also talking about yung mga window sills natin, yung mga walls around the doors. Make sure it's very, very straight. And the wall itself is straight. So for example, yung wall natin sa likod, makikita natin na wala siyang waves masyado. For my standard, it's perfectly fine. Meron pang must intense the standard that you visit the site at night and then you use a flashlight towards the site. So if this was the wall, then come flashlight going this way and makikita lahat ng mga waves ng wall. So if you want to go that route, pwede din yun, but 
that's a more intense thing. And for me, I can live with just having a decently straight wall. You also want to check for cracks and walls in the ceiling. So at least before my turnover, matanggal na yun lahat. Now, cracks in walls and ceilings usually come back, especially pag nagumagalaw na yung bahay. But at least pag turnover nila, tama na siya. You also want to check for scratches on the walls, on the doors, on the door jams, on the cabinets. Lagyan natin ng mga post-it notes yun lahat para ma-repair before ma-turnover. Because, paminsan, kahit ito, natapos na. Sabihin natin, natapos na siya. And then, there's still people working. Paminsan, natatamaan. So, that's why scratches can appear. And then, that's why you need the post-it note. Lagay natin dyan na, oh, ito, repair mo. Repair, 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 repair. So, ganyan yung style. For the general look, it's fairly easy. Kasi nakikita natin agad, like parang yung mga imperfections lang. Lagyan lang natin ng mga post-it notes. That's it. Next thing you want to check are the tiles. Now, you want to inspect the tiles if they're hollow. You want to inspect the tiles if the grout between them are level or even. At least pare-pareho yung spacing in between the tiles. And you want to make sure that hindi siya loose. So, ang gagawin natin ay kukuha tayo ng typically a coin and then you knock on every tile in the house or you can use a stick and then at least hindi ka na mag, mag bend down so diretso na you hit the tiles with a stick and you can see if it sounds hollow it's most likely loose and it's better repaired right away so for example in our pool in inspect ko before nila turn over i had a feeling na maglulusen tong tiles and i didn't want the headache of a tile that's loose inside the pool because they'll have to drain the water, etc. etc. So before they turn it over, I knock on every tile. So tinanggal nila half the tile and they had to redo it. And even after they redid it, I knocked again and then they had a few more tiles na we had to redo again. But now walang problema yung pool namin. Even though nagagalit na yung pool contractor sa akin, like this is substandard work. It has to be done right, especially for something that is expensive and something that is very, very hard to repair in the future. Ito, singit ko lang. It's best to repair everything as soon as possible. The earlier it's repaired in the process, the cheaper it is, the less hassle it is. Don't wait to finish. Tayo pa naman, mahilig tayo sa, ah, mamaya na yan, okay na yan. So as much as possible, especially for the important items, you want them repaired right away. Okay, punta tayo sa third item on the list, which is electricity. So, sa electricity side, this is how you check it. Simple. Just turn on all the light switches and make sure all the lights are on and on like constantly. Hindi siya nag-flicker or walang mga ganyang nangyayari. Second, you'll want to bring along phone charger and you plug every single outlet and makikita natin that everything is working. What's frustrating is that, oh, ito hindi pala na tap yung isang outlet so uh, you have to call them again uh, <laughs> I'm sure napapansin niyo na yung mga frustrations ko on site ito talaga trabaho ng engineer guys so it's not just for the homeowners this is the job of the engineer also but since a house is super complicated kailangan natin ng tulong and tulungan mag-inspect and if you're working with a proper contractor they'll be happy to give you a home na happy naman kayo and then, you want to run all the appliances, especially the big appliances. You want to run the ovens, the refrigerator, the dishwasher, TV, the aircon, just to make sure that all the items can run without tripping the electricity. Kasi paminsan, especially with heavy items like ovens, nagtitrip yung electricity if it wasn't designed well or if the wires that were used, it's not working properly. And ito, important in this day and age, Make sure every room has access to the internet and cable if you have cable in your home. So just make sure all the wires are there and it has a solid connection. Now when it comes to aircon pala, you also want to check if there are leaks 
and you want to turn on the aircon for a long time to see if it's actually cooling. Kasi paminsan yung mga copper tubing sa mga aircon, especially for the mga split type aircons, paminsan nabubutas during installation and it's not able to make the room as cool as it can be. So better check that before turnover. Okay, ito, bonus tip. Before your contractor leaves, lagyan nyo yung electrical panel of all the labels that you need for each area. So may mga switch yun eh. Ito, bedroom one, bedroom two, master bedroom, CR, living room. So dapat nakalabel yun lahat. So that in the future, pag may mga repairs kayo na kailangan, alam nyo na kung which is which and it will give you an easier time and your electrician an easier time to repair in the future. Whew! <clears throat> Ubusan na ako ng bosses nito, guys. <laughs> So next is plumbing. Next we'll check all the showers, all the faucets, all the baths, if it is running so you run it all and then to make sure also that all these items hindi nagdi-drip. Don't forget to check the faucets outside as well. You may mga hose kayo. Make sure it's not dripping so that you don't waste water. And make sure to try flushing all the toilets. And when you flush it, tingnan natin kung nagsisil ba talaga siya afterwards. Diba paminsan pag nagpa-flush tayo and meron pa rin na it's still running. So we'll make sure na okay talaga siya. Then we'll want to check all the drains. So when we're running everything, We'll want to check that everything is flowing well. We'll also want to check if there are smells coming from the drain. And that might mean na hindi maayos yung pag-install ng P-trap. Yung thing that stops the smell from coming into your home. Now, once you check everything, you'll also want to check under the sink. You want to check if there's leaks under the sink while you are running the faucet. So, you'll also want to see if the faucet is loose. So, yung mga handle niya or yung mga head niya, shake natin just to see if it's tightened properly. Ito, important to for the bathroom and especially yung mga wet areas of the house na meron talagang ventilation so that it doesn't accumulate mold. So, you want to see that there's proper ventilation installed whether it's just a window or those electrical exhaust fans that help pull out the moisture and the smell from the bathroom and the CR. So, we gotta do it that that is there and that is functioning properly. Five is you'll want for a big rain to happen and then you go to the site. This is easier said than done, but I talaga to because this is a very, very important step. So every time it rained really, really hard, I made it a point to come to the site and have a flashlight and check if there are any leaks in the ceilings and if there are any puddles on the floor. So if my puddles on the floor and supposedly my roof kana. That would mean na, uy, meron tong leak dito and pwede mong lagyan ng pental pen or chalk so that you will be reminded that there's a leak right above that area. You also want to check if there's moisture on the walls, if may mga pintura na nagbabulge or may mga streaks of water that may have come up. And you'll also want to check if there's any other puddles in the exterior area just to make sure that yung slope ng mga drains are going to where they should go. So an added tip for this is if you notice mga walls nyo na may mga efflorescence, meaning may powdery substance or may mga lumot na, that means that the wall is absorbing water and there's water coming from somewhere. Now this is less of a problem if you're using a low water absorption type of product, less possible for mga hollow blocks, less likely for light block, and paminsan also it's because hindi maayos pag waterproof yung bahay ni. So you'll want to have that checked as well. Okay, malapit na tayo matatapos. The doors and windows. You want to see if all the doors are functioning properly. All the windows are functioning properly. Open and close them to see if they're functioning as they should and make sure to lock and unlock them. If you have sliding doors or sliding windows, make sure to slide them and make sure it's all functioning as they should. 
So you also want to see if there are scratches on your windows. Now, this happened to us, especially sa amin glass house. So meron talagang yung mga very deep scratches. I don't know why they were there. Nagtuturoan sila kung kaninong mali, but sa amin, okay, it's there. Please replace it. But for the less extreme scratches, we just said, sige na, okay na yan. It's just those that are very, very deep. And as a bonus on this, you want to check your cabinets, drawers, everything is functioning properly. Sometimes yung mga lock hindi gumagana. Just check that as well and put marks if ever it is not up to standard. Lastly, and very importantly for safety reasons, is you want to check all the gas burners are functioning as they should. So you want to run it and make sure there are no leaks while it's running. You can use a mixture of soap and water and you can place it sa mga connection points where you suspect there might be leaks and pag nagbabubble yan, that says that there are leaks. So you just want to be extra safe. If you don't know how to do it, ask the LPG supplier, ask the people who installed it to check it and see for yourself that it is actually safe na so that it won't cause any harm in the future. Woo! <laughs> Lana ng bosses, guys! Okay, so with all these things that we have talked about, what you want to do is print it out and go to the site with a notebook and yung post-it na sinasabi natin. But that doesn't end there. When you put post-its, okay, sige, repair mo to, repair mo to, repair mo to. If you don't follow this extra step, ang gagawin dyan sa site is, ah, maliit lang ko na bagay, tatanggalin ko na yun, hindi na yun mapapansin ni ma'am or ni sir. So what you want to do is, you put a post-it and you put a number. And you tell the people in the site that no one is allowed to remove the post-it except you mismo. So when you say, okay, paint splatter number one, here. Meron yung number one. Okay, then you write in your notebook, paint splatter, one post-it. Second post-it, third post-it. And then you tell them, I'm the only one allowed to remove the post-it. So I will sign off here when I remove it. Okay, done, okay, done, okay, done. So yeah. That's the way to do it, in my personal opinion. So that's it, guys. I hope this has been helpful to you. I hope that this will make your home even more beautiful, even more livable, and I hope this will make you love your dream home even more. If this video has been helpful to you, just hit the thumbs up. That's it. That's all I ask. Kahit yung mga, ano, mga download, download, free na natin yan, thumbs up lang kayo. <laughs> anyway, guys, I'll see you later.